Now we are. Ah, <laughs> um, I was thinking of sending James on a mission um, to the local RCMP so that I threatened to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I am known for that encounter. <laughs> Oh, just, just... He plays a Judas part, right? Yeah. Right. That's who he is. Okay. Have you finished? Yeah, that, yes. That, that, was a, that was a left, you know, a curveball. Uh, Joel is here. There he is. Say hello. Howdy. This is my... Howdy. This is my <laughs> new... Um, is that your real voice? Howdy. <laughs> this is my new Girl, lounge area where we'll be interviewing the... Studio. Yeah, studio. So, uh, yeah, what an exciting day we had today. All kinds of things. They fell for it. <laughs> it <is. laughs> I pulled you up. No, and no, I no, have already all... changed your original license to give you an extra five years. I'm the fucking king, huh? Right. Canada, your yeah. legal driver. Yeah. That's it. Lawful. You got it in your pocket. I made it just for you. Yes, I know, but I didn't have it on me. <laughs> you just take that and show them that. Fax it to me. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, but let, let, let's, talk, weeks, let's yeah. talk about what happened. Okay, Joel, give your version of what happened today. Joel's eyewitness. <laughs> um, well, we're driving into town. Did you have town. the camera with you? We did, but it was battery flat. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that you had that camera in the front. I, I got a bit of voice on my um, mobile phone. You're, you're supposed to take a silver one. Oh. It's fully charged. It's got 32 gig of space in it. Well, well, you saw me take the other one. Why did you not say to me? I thought you took the silver one. one. Oh. <laughs> what have I ever taken the silver one? Because oh. it's the one I've been using all the time. You no, know, I haven't. I rarely well, use it. Well, you shouldn't be using it because oh. the other oh. one's gone uh. strange. Uh, 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 right, Joel, 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 Joel. What happened? Here we are in quiet little Tugum driving along, and there's cops. Never seen a cop car since what, what time of day was it? Well, it was 11 11.55. Yeah, <laughs> before lunchtime. Yes. Thursday. And what were they before. doing? What was the first thing you wanted me to do? Breath test. <laughs> In a town with no bottle shops or pubs. A and mostly retired. Retired. Yes. Or, very out of or school children. Yeah. <laughs> um, and how many times did I have to? Well, we did before I got it right. It's three. <laughs> yes, it <was>. Finally. <laughs> do it until I say stop. Oh, do I do? That's the bit I missed. Anyway, long story short. Uh, of course, I didn't have uh, my driver's license on me because I actually did change. I, I, I changed handbags and grabbed a bunch of things out of it, and that wasn't one of them. So that's what I said to him. It's at home. But how can he act rationally when there's been. 155 or so patents. Well, well on let's chemtrails. get to that. We've got to finish one topic before we pass on to another. You know, it all leads into the story. It's a good point, though. <laughs> anyway, this guy's just opened the Pandora's box. He doesn't know what hit him. Although I think he was beginning to wonder when Why I challenged there? when I challenged him at, at the window after after I, you know, finally blew in his and all the rest of it, and. Uh, he, he got my address and... I'm looking forward to the film. ...found out that, um, of course, my licence has been suspended through unpaid fines, of course. I don't even know what the fines are about and all the rest of it. But but they and weren't your fines. They're no. your daughters. Yeah, well... It's as simple as that. Yeah, well, anyway, it doesn't and matter. And you called your name as Marshall. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then tried to blame me for that. <laughs> and how, oh, I had three witnesses in the back thing. And he says, you gave me the wrong name after warning me about false information. He thought my first name was Marshall. He didn't ask for my first name, did he? No. After all that. Anyway. Through but you still hasn't got your first name. Oh, he finally got it because the people on the radio told him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back. So anyway, now we do the song and dance. And uh, 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 I, I, I said to him that, uh, look, there's no way I'm paying any of this, so I might as well, you know, you can arrest me. In which case he said, well, what, what did he say? We can make it easy. I can write this out in five minutes or, or take you into the station. Yeah. And I said, well, I'll follow you in. I'll follow you in. It's, it's, that's when he said, turn the motor off. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another licensed driver in the car? And Karen sticks her hand up. He doesn't ask for her license or anything. She could have just been sticking her hand up because she's got Tourette's or something. And go. <laughs> 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 
Two shit houses. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm funny. <laughs> anyway, so this dude, uh, and then uh, I, I told him, look, <laughs> you know, that he had no jurisdiction and blah, blah, blah. And that's, so he, he goes away and that's what I find you. Do I want to be arrested right now? <laughs> you know, should, I, should I aim for arrest? And you said, no, and I go, okay, all right, well, not today. So what have we got? We've got a couple of bits of paper. It has a court date for appearance on the 13th of March at 9.30 a.m. And another pink uh, was supposed to front up to the Harvey Bay Police Station and be fingerprinted for ID. Well, am I looking forward to this? <laughs> what have I done before? <laughs> have I ever turned up for a court appearance? <laughs> no. I have sent to the magistrate and to the chief of police in Canberra, and I'm going to do it again here in Queensland, it's going all the way to the High Court because, <laughs> well, not only has everything been collapsed and here's the UCC filings that all corporations, governments, banks, etc., have been foreclosed and they've been collapsed. And Where's so the Queensland? Hmm? Where's the Queens one? Queensland, we're in. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, well anyway, so that, that's been done in America and that applies for all the world. So that's all good. However, digging a little deeper, that led to, uh, of course, the Governor General of Australia is also the Commander in Chief. And um, your sister's best friend. My sister's best friend. And I took all those documents in 2009. Got speeding fines and all the rest of That's when. That's, that, that brought about all the letters to the Commissioner of Police there, or the Chief, whatever his name was, and warning me not to enter Canberra because they would do whatever they were going to do to me after I wrote them this letter and they didn't know how to handle it. You know, well, it's up to the magistrate and all this kind of thing. He obviously didn't know what to do with it because I just got this warning saying, don't come to Canberra. <laughs> and I have been back there, I can tell you. I've even walked into the uh, 666 building, which happens to be the ABC, 666 Northbourne Avenue, after I delivered these documents to the government general, mm -hmm. a homosexual reporter who wasn't interested in anything, his eyes glazed over, as all homosexuals do, and uh, or they fall asleep, as all demons do. Well, he was just staring there, all oh, glassy-eyed. And I said to him, you really don't care, do you? And this was about the genocide against the Australian population, that uh, all parties of the government, including the Governor-General, were a party to. So uh, he said, no, he didn't. If it's not a two-minute snip, then not interested. So how's that for investigative reporting? Not very good. <laughs> anyway, where is all this going? Well, the stars for today. First of all, let's see what the, the ticket number says, 1989. We'll just revisit some of these. We've done this. Earlier, to I have should have said my name is Cyril. <laughs> Cyril the Squirrel? Yeah. Okay, first of all... Mad raging faggot. <laughs> what, 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 what faggot has the name Cyril? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Here, <laughs> here we're listening. We've got to get through this. We've got a lot to cover in this little, you know, comedy half hour or whatever. 1989 from 1986, a hammer or mallet. Hammer, as in what a judge. Melt, hammer, what do they call that? From 1986. From 1986. Gavel. Let's go. Uh, yeah, Gavel, that's it. 1986. Ah, to hammer, stamp, conquer, disband, beat down, break down, overcome, smite with the hammer, which is exactly what I will be doing. I'll take my own gavel <laughs> if I decide to enter the courtroom. Uh, you know, I haven't yet. I've, I've sent all the documentation. So that's what it's all about. That's what I'm going to be doing to them. I'm now, fine. now let's see what it says in Greek. There was something in you know, you know. Um Now, when I got home, and, you know, of course I'm telling you all about it. We're doing some numbers and all the rest of it. He said, we will write a letter. This is what all of this is all about. Writing the letter as I have done before to the chief of police in Curlis. Etc. Etc. Surrender, so, or I'll have your balls. <laughs> okay, so what does 1980? 
What you is can do it. What is 1989 in Greek? It says to communicate by letter. Huh. For any purpose, write a letter it's and two. Hello. Coincidence, just because now. the star was at 88.8. <laughs> the time was 11.55. And uh, in Greek, that's to loan on interest to borrow, lend, uh, etc. Well, that's what it's all about, these court circuits. It's all about the money, money, money. Now, what is interesting... Um, so we're charging everybody from the Governor-General down to treason in the government, which yeah. I did in 2002. Yes, we, we, we will... Uh, I think was, the deadline was June The Governor-General of Australia is unlawful. 360 politicians got that. There's a difference between lawful and legal. Go and find out what it is. Legal is uh, pertaining to the form of, the technique, the form, technicalities form, which is what it's all about. Uh, when something is lawful, it's decreed by God or not. So a man and woman are joined together lawfully in marriage after seed in the womb. They are joined together legally, being bound by the, they become the slave, by the legal system that is all about the form. It doesn't matter if they bash the shit out of each other or uh, uh, treat their children that are a product of the marriage to become wards of the state once they're registered by their birth certificate, etc., etc., etc. That is not, that's the legal system and that is the, uh, that's the devil. The legal system is the devil. What God says is lawful is the uh, love and uh, the bond, love and compassion between a man and a woman extended to their children and they grow up as the what parents are they do with men? With Burn men. him at the stake? Oh, don't, you know. He's an anathema. And all like him, they're an anathema. Go and look it up. Um, now, what else was there about? Oh, what else was the star? 842, which was... 842 know. at an altitude of 88.8. Well, let's see what 842 is. Another one was 88.85. Yeah. Uh, 842. How about that? Ashra. <laughs> From 833. Happy. And the first thing you said to me this morning, quoting what was said to you in the lockup all those years ago, you said to me, far too happy for your circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, that's me. <laughs> that was Port Coquitlam. Coquitlam. Yeah, there as well. There is there. <laughs> uh, 17th of June, I was committed in 1995. Right. And the moon shone at 77%. 77 77.777. Oh. And at the same moment that it happened, there was this lunatic. Standing in the moonlight looking at me. Frighten <laughs> <laughs> the shit out of me. Plus, the ears stuck out like this, right? Uh, right. Could have been an angel, wouldn't it? Oh, something I also learned while looking at the, uh, uh, the, the Act uh, of 1990 um, pertaining to the Queensland Police Service is that random breath testing applies, as far as I can work out from what I read in the Act, it applies only to other members of the Police Service. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what, what what's this dude's name? Uh, 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 it looks like R O double R. Uh, that's so well, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Mr. R. Oh. Raw. The the uh, Mr. Soft. Ah, he's, Sof. he's going to be getting <laughs> Robert Sof. He's going to be getting a letter as well, the magistrate and the everybody that. Uh, but it's all going up on YouTube. Totally, yep, it's all. And uh, the government had better capitulate because they will have their heads. Absolutely. Literally. I mean, the, the point is that all of this work that is being done by uh, other people on the planet is all well and good, but it doesn't, um, we're in the judgment. So I've read with interest all that for free will, as long as it's a, a free will, free will. Well, We've said this before, he rules with a rod of iron, there's no more free will. So if um, somebody's free will says, well, they will continue to um, be practicing homosexuals, pedophiles, uh, or dead, murderers or, or whatever it is, 
whatever it is whatever that is offense. unlawful, whatever it is, the offence, you're all dead meat anyway. It really doesn't matter. It's all, uh, it's all a pile of ashes, from ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Uh, and at the end of the day... Did you know what? there's been 155 patents yes. granted? Since? No, it's 168. Since what year? 1920. And what are the patents for? So that they can do what they want to do and chemtrail and make, in the early days, was clouds and mist. Mist and, and fog. fog. Right. right. Which I've seen that. Mm. Right. It used to happen in Australia. Mm. Massacre. Sick as can be, I mm. did. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. <gasps> <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Thank you. Now breathe right out when you're sneezing and see what happens. I did. Was that your eyes will pop out your mouth. No, breathe out till he says stop. <laughs> As you're going to sneeze, you breathe right out. And you go, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, getting back to chemtrail. So, what are we telling about chemtrails? They've been. Uh, aluminium lasts uh, a year. Powdered aluminium in space. It's been. It uh, causes Alzheimer's mm -hmm. but, yeah. and cuts out the ultraviolet and that's why a uh, test in Finland showed that the children that was given uh, 4,500 international units of vitamin D per day in, in Finland above the 30 degree latitude, uh, that they didn't come down with diabetes. One. One. And then as they decreased, they, they were doing a social experiment, they decreased it down to 400 over a period of time. You see how the diabetes level of babies onwards up to 14 year olds yeah. spiked. And of course, as you all know, the uh, intensity of the chemtrailing in the last decades is eliminating vitamin D, vitamin D because there's a lack of sunshine. You've got to lick a cat now. They lick themselves because of vitamin D. That's where they get vitamin D from. Oh, right. Do you notice our cat doesn't lick itself? Yeah. Too lazy. She's too lazy. She's half Japanese. <laughs> So that's how long they've been chemtrailing. But now the diabetes, diabetes, pick it up and bend it up your life. Diabetes, one is a Put direct a main result of ball, the chemtrailing, like. lack of vitamin D because they're well, blocking she does the flies all day. to um, depopulate the planet. So, what else can we say? At seventeen twenty-nine. <laughs> What? <laughs> the numbers are oh, 17, oh, oh, look up 1729. <laughs> I thought 17 minutes went quickly when you're having a, a rave. A ripping yarn. A ripping yarn. Oh, let, let me go. Deficient in lacking vitamin D. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. Let's see. A hook for fishing. for fishing. Fish hook properly. Fishery. Now it's interesting because they talked about uh, um, cod liver oil yeah. uh, that it's they fun. were feeding children and. Uh, it's from there, of course, comes some vitamin D. Mm. 1728. A fisherman, fisher. There's your 1771 number. You divide that by a sole year, and what do you got? What have you got? My. The date from my birth mm. that Prince Charles was born, the beast. Oh. About that. Okay, anything else? No, it was a day I climbed the fence and let that little boy out and just right. made for him and his mother just left a bit of by this idiot who wired it up, which my father did. I told him at a four, I was 4.848 years old. So a week before that, he wired this up, the vacuum cleaner up. I said, He's got the red wrong in the wrong spot. He put it on the earth. So when she switched, went to switch it on in the bathroom and touched the tap, the electrocuted it. Hey, I just looked up 1929 and you were talking about your father. Yeah. What an idiot he was. 1929, ah, uh, expressing grief, woe, 
Well, that's what your father was. You'd say to me, you'd argue with Christ, you would. I'd say you aren't. To give over by hand or surrender, deliver unto, give, let. <laughs> Her drive. <laughs> Well, yes, we're also doing a, um, a dialogue back and forth with the insurance company now through our agent. <laughs> and who offers, what, $2,000 for the car? Yeah, something it's, like it's that. It's cost three grand to paint it. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's all part of the fun and games. Hey, what else has happened today? We got the cigarette lighter from the, the, the wreckers. Yep. Replacement 16 lighter. 50, look it up. 16.50. It's it's, everything's a set up. Proof, conviction, evidence, reproof. <laughs> <laughs> this was after the the the, yeah, the, the pullover by the, the policy enforcer. Meaning to join a bridge, Geshira district of Syria. Okay. So what they're doing is uh, depriving children in Finland at. Uh, on a baby sisters, 4,500 international units of vitamin D. And then they reduced it over time. And each time they reduced it, there was a upturn in the amount of incidence of vitamin D deficiency producing uh, diabetes one in babies. 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 So then they uh, decreased it down to 400 international units. Hmm. And the spike went through the roof. At the same time, they're chemtrailing, cutting out vitamin D coming down from the sun. Yeah. That's why I said go to lick a cat. Yeah. They are a vitamin D siphon, if you like. You could probably just breathe them. Couldn't put them in, in some sort of inhaler. Snip <laughs> the cat right and squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> Good vitamin D, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Or you can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> <In a capsule. laughs> no, they're going to try and cut it out. Mm -hmm. A capsule. A capsule, there you go. So the vitamin D, so 5,000 international units or more, 15,000 I just took, mm. plus what I did this morning. And you've seen how we've got films of how my arms were all crispy and beaten like I'd been scourged with the cat and nine tail. Right? Mm. Have we got a film out there? Mm. And now my skin is, is back to youthfulness. Mm. Now these, these legs here were um, third degree burnt. Right. And I healed it with vitamin E. Yeah. Three days. Mm. I'm standing in the hospital, right? I've got a pair of shorts on. Propane had blown up. Mm. Right. This faulty hose. And I'd been in liquid propane and then set a light because I had the bloody torch in my hand, right? Mm. Mm. And as the stuff came up, I'm boom, off I go. My father's with me, a witness is it. So he got to the hospital and he says, don't tell you. He told Mrs. Uh, what's her name? I was, I was building a house at the back and she painted it yellow and then she wanted it yellow. And I went there one day and the canary jumped back and forth and told you it was the eyes. Mm. It's the same colour, canary yellow. Anyhow, boom, go to the hospital. Dad tells this woman, don't let mum know. So she immediately rings and tells her. Mum's now ringing at the hospital to see how badly burnt I am. Mm. I'm standing here in my shorts, black to me bloody me thongs. Mm. Right? This idiot is wanting medical mm. proof. Mm. So I said to you, fuck with, I'm burnt to my feet. Get me on a gurney and some vitamin E on me. Mm. Right? So the first thing they do, they put this gauze on me mm. and then they rip it off. Mm. I said, fuck this. So I got up and left. Right? Mm. And I then hired a caravan down the coast, Bateman's Bay. And for three days, the kids and I were riding around bikes. And I rubbed myself with vitamin E and I healed myself in three days. So I come back with absolutely no skin. So it's just a little bit of a pink rash at the back here. Mm. Maybe that's a remnant of where I was starting to get crispy there the other mm. month ago. Mm. So now the vitamin D has reduced it all back to the youthfulness. Mm. So you get younger. You actually, uh, you've got to start somewhere with a telling man. Once one starts, it tells the other one that to do it. It's all it's a thinking thing, right? Mm. So uh, that's what's happening. Reducing, reversing age. 
Speaking All right, so we've got them all by the balls here. Oh, and um, so much fun. The Governor General, she's out of business since when? How many years ago? Well, she was never in business anyway. Because That's what I'm saying. How long ago did it change? Uh, well, I don't know. That that's the part that nobody's talking. Nobody knows. When, in any case, yeah. For a very long time, the Governor Generals, probably that back before the First World War. Yeah. Not the Second World. Well, War. no, no. It, it would no. It was more than likely be to do with the Australia Act, which was 1980 or 1986. Oh, yeah, that they, they've been been swearing allegiance to, to the Australian, under the Australian seal, seal, and uh, to Queen Elizabeth all capital letters, which means it's the um, the imposter, and uh, with the the Australian seal is copyrighted, so that's the corporate identity, corporate identity, and Commonwealth all capital letters, so. The corporate, corporate beast, which has all been, they've all been collapsed. This thing, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is going. Now, it's late. It's 11.38, and that rhymes. Look up 11.38. <laughs> 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 that one coming. <laughs> <sighs> Bunny. <laughs> what <a> bunny? <laughs> Eleven twenty nine. Built bunny or bunai. Bunny. B U W A. No, you're the bunny. Yeah, you get two. Eleven twenty eight. Great. Um. Ah, David. David, the Israelite king. Hello, <laughs> David. You're the bunny. I'm the bunny. Isn't that my sense of humour, am Yeah. It's also your spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this bullshit way of spelling really shit you. <laughs> Look up. It's got to be phonetic. <laughs> Look up restoration in the. Uh, it's restaurant. And it's spelt, it's spelt like restaurant. <laughs> you know, AU instead of yeah. <laughs> Speaking of AU, we at the records today. Who's so, right? Who's right? Oh, you are, darling. Of course. I was there. This is the oldest one in the bloody book. That's how you spell restoration. Like restaurant. <laughs> yeah, in days when they didn't have restaurants. So today they've reversed it all on purpose. That when you go to a restaurant, you go to eat. No, you go to be restored. Restored. Organic. Got to get rid of all the food things across America. They're disgusting. Oh, the feedlots. All the oil, soil, oil, oil, soil, oil, 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 meat in America, yeah. you would have 12 times the food that you presently have available to you. That's right. That's what all the vegan people have been saying for now for a very long time. And to grow your apples and orchards with chicken honey. Yes. I was told uh, by... The nature songs yeah. coming back. Chickens Rickets eat the and... white moss, but uh, we bought organic apples today, paid $7.95 for them, a kilogram, $8.95 for the... Oh, no. Nectarines. Um, now, of course, feedlot animals fed on soy and corn and all the rest of it, um, it sets up E. coli in their stomach. Mm. And then it only takes 10 days to clear once they start eating on, on grass again. But yeah, it, it's all rotting in their stomachs because they can't digest it. It sets up E. coli. It's, and that little boy who died, his mother, of course, is championing the cause for food labelling and safe food handling. Even to the point she couldn't talk about it because she'll be disturbed. Yes, you can't criticise. You can't even photograph you, feedlots now. No, you can't do that, but you can't criticise. You can't you give can't, food away to people next door. That's right. And you can't criticise. If you don't like something food-wise over there, you can't say anything about it to anybody. She, she, she just said, I, can't, I cannot say 
I cannot tell you her thoughts on food products that she was tasting or whatever. You cannot make public comments. And that was all after Oprah sent uh, the market down when she made whatever comment she did about beef, the beef industry all those years ago. So, God bless America. Not. Not this God. Okay, anything else? Judaism is finished. Mm. Every Jew's got to convert. Well, I'm going to hunt them down. Beheading, it's called. Well, it's. Um, I got the Arabs to do it. Well, it, it's all pretty well. Well, it's all preordained, isn't it? Enoch sets the tone for the reaping. And it all happens in front of the righteous, the holy. An almighty God who's on the earth, back in his temple, upon his throne. <laughs> a chameleon, a chameleon of sorts. <laughs> a chameleon of sorts. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Is that why you're wearing two shirts? <laughs> <laughs> changing your shirts. I've already done it. <laughs> they come down. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have like this one. Yes, I know. It's like, that's you like, didn't know. That's why I said to you, you're such a dork. <laughs> <laughs> and what is? What, what did we find out this week? I found out what a dork is. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, 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 well. Well, I never. Yes. <laughs> All right, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's 11.43. <gasps> Look the number. No, <laughs> it's 11.52. No. 11.52. No, no it's 31.57. 1.57, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, why is that, babe? Explain to the world why. I took 101 out. Between 32.02 and 33.03, they're all missing. Like, isn't that stupid? Mm -hmm. So you go to all those numbers in Hebrew, but at a ratio of the Fibonacci number. Because the, the number of words in the Hebrew is 8674, which is 3168 minus days. Or years, rather, really, one or the other. But there's only five, six, two, four in the New Testament. So the ratio between the two, like it might be one, two, seven, or something. That is how many you go forward. So you go to the same number in 33, 3201, and add that ratio. And that's the number you read in Hebrew, and that's what it means. Right. That's why they took it out. Mm. They do it right the way through to. Uh, same equivalent to 33, uh, zero, zero. Who will open? So some people may wonder why we are measuring distances from the first eclipse after I was born. So it's pretty obvious. So it crosses a 25 degree latitude. And the distance to where I was born is 8.8.8.8.8 miles. Okay. The last one, Prince Charles's birthday, missed out by 10. Uh, that was uh, November the 14th. Right. This year. Last year. 2012. 2012. That's 9.42 miles from where I was born. Jesus again. But you say, why are we in Tugum? Well, it's 973 kilometers to where I was born, and that's how many times the word Jesus is found in the 942 verse. It's getting pretty late, you know? <laughs> Then you measure from the 888.8 mile solar eclipse of 1946, 44, 25th of January, which is 8888.8 miles. Today is Trinity's birthday, and she was 8.888 years old when I was 69, which is 70 Hebrew years. <laughs> But from that eclipse to this location, we've got Jesus, one eye, and then we've got 
Almighty God. And the number is... Uh, 7, 7, 7, 6, isn't it? 7, 7, 0, 6 which is farther, nautical miles. And that number is Almighty God. And that's what we're in. <laughs> and the girls sleep through it. <laughs> they can see the replay. It's not the bloody point, is it? <laughs> You're in with God. You get a bed. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, we all do it sometime. Yeah, but not with me. They go by themselves, right? They should be watching what's going on. If I was them, I would. Right? <laughs> Most of the elect. <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> the cat in the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so we've got them uh, short and curly, so no worries. And uh, I better get a picture of It's a final fucking warm up. So go ahead, make my day. Well, I'm kind of hoping they won't. <laughs> 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 Nighty night, guys. Love you all.